hi everybody. I'm so glad to see you all there today and I heard that you read my book Do Unto Otters. I'm going to show you how I go about drawing an otter. So I'm going to move over to the camera. When I drew the otters for this book, even though I drew them like cartoons, I still needed to make sure that they looked like otters. So I started out looking at lots and lots of photographs of otters. I did lots and lots of sketches of otters, trying to figure them out how I wanted to draw them. Look at all these different otters that I drew before I figured out how I wanted to draw them in the book. I thought their long skinny bodies kind of looked like a peanut in a peanut shell, if you can see that or one of those flat wooden ice cream spoons you get sometimes with ice cream or even a bowling pin. And if you look at how I drew their bodies, the shape of their body kind of looks like those things, doesn't it? Put a shape on your paper that looks kind of like one of those things and it doesn't have to be perfect. Mine's not perfect at all. So go ahead and just draw a shape on your paper, kind of like a spoon or a peanut shell or a bowling pin. We're going to draw their eyes next. And the way I did it was just two circles up at the top, like that. And then I put a dot in the middle of each one for the pupil, just like we have in the middle of our eyes. All right, we're going to draw their nose next, and we're going to do it with the letter U, like that. So watch what I do with that letter U. I'm going to start drawing the letter U underneath this eye, and I'm going to bring it up underneath the other eye, like that. We're going to take a straight line right through the middle of that nose, or of that U, and then color it in underneath, and you'll have the nose. I'm going to start drawing the mouth on this side of his nose, but watch what I do. I'm going to bring it down underneath his nose and then back up around to the other side of his nose. And then you can add some teeth, however you want to do that, just some little lines. And he'll have a nice smile. So go ahead and add a little ear on each side of his head. And they also have whiskers like a lot of animals. So go ahead and add a few whiskers on each side of his face. We're going to start with his short little arm. They have short arms and legs. So we're going to take two short lines that come out from the side of his body. That's the top and bottom of one of his arms. So two little short lines that come out. We're going to take another short line that tips kind of sideways like that. That's the side of his hand. So out from his arm, draw another short line for the side of his hand. One, two, three. Three smiles like we just did, but they're tipped sideways. So they're pointing that way to this side of the page. So give that a try. Once you do that, just take another line for the other side of his hand and hook it right back to his arm and that one's done. All right, let's try it with his other arm. Two short lines that come out from the side of his body. That's the top and bottom of his arm. We're going to take a line that comes out for the side of his hand, just like we did on the other one. This time though, those three smiles that we're going to draw, they're going to point to this side of the page, like this. There's one, two, three. Take a line for the other side of his hand and hook it right back to his arm. Just two short lines that come out from his body down at the bottom. Then we're going to take a line that comes out from his leg for the top of his foot, like that. This time, just like on this hand, we're going to make those three smiles point back to this side of the page. There's one, two, three. And then we're going to finish it up with a line for the bottom of his foot that hooks back to his leg, kind of like that. All right, two more lines for his other leg. A line that comes out for the top of his foot. So there's one, two, three. And then a line for the bottom of his foot that hooks back to his leg. 
All right, we're almost done with the otter. The hard part's over. We have to add a tail. They're kind of skinny at the top and they get thicker at the bottom and they're really important because they help otters to be really good swimmers. Just think about what you need to do to give your otter some personality. And like I mentioned earlier, we're all drawing an otter and there's not one of them that will be like anybody else's. You guys are coming up with something completely original. So I'm adding some glasses to mine. But the last thing that I'm gonna add, and you guys can do this too, no matter what you decorate your otter like, I learned when I was researching for this book that otters have more fur than any other animal. So I'm just putting some little short marks like this on my otter to make it look like he's got lots of fur. So that's how I do it. 